Hi. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create an email alias in Exchange Admin Center. So let's say we have Simon Steven. Simon Steven is using the email address called simon.steven at globalniger.com. But you have been tasked to actually change this and the alias of Simon Steven to a different email address entirely. So if I go to the domain controller, here you can see that Simon Steven email address is simon.steven at globalniger.com. So I want to change this email address to be, different, to be something else entirely. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my exchange server 02. So double click on Simon's profile. And then go to email addresses, email address. And here I'm going to actually, let me just uncheck this and then click on add. So I'm going to add a new email for Simon. I'm going to add it, we'll just call it Simon. Steven at privacy.be and then make this the reply address and click OK. So what we, need, what we just need to do is to click Save. And you can see the email address of Simon has been changed. So right now, the default email address for Simon is going to be the following. Let me go to back, go back to my domain controller. And here, if I click Simon Steven profile, you can see Simon Steven now has a new email address. So this is going to be the default email address of Simon Steven. But mind you, Simon can still as well. Let, let me just double click again on Simon's profile. I go to email address. Mind you, Simon can still actually use the Simon.Steven at globalniger.com to actually sign in to um to his computer or to actually um, check his email. But his default email, if he logs onto his computer and he, is want, he wants to comp configure um, Outlook, his default email is going to be simon.steven at privayictless.be. So that is how easy it is to actually create an email alias in Office 365 Exchange Admin Center. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. And please, if this, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to click the like button and actually subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT-related video. Thank you very much for taking your time once more to watch my video and see you next time.